Morning, folks. Hey, soap is brought to us by Sterling. This one here is obsidian. Yeah, in other words, black licorice. And you can only imagine, yep, that's what it looks like on the inside. It's a little bit on the dark side. Um, more like a charcoal color than, you know, totally black. But uh, definitely, uh, this in here is also glacial. So in other words, not only do you have uh, the black licor licorice scent, but you also got the menthol to help boost the, the flavor up. It's, it's a pretty nice scent, at least per, per my nose. Awakens the senses first thing in the morning, on a Monday morning at that, after a holiday weekend. And also got the uh, matching aftershave to go right along with it there. Um, got it whipped up here with a Omega brush. This one here has got a synthetic knot. That's what it looks like there in the bowl. And uh, it has, a, I guess you might say, a gray tint to it. It's pretty hard to tell, I know, on camera, but... When you get it in person, it has a, at least an off-white, maybe even a gray color to it. And I got it whipped up. It's just, it's a little bit on the drippy side. It is wet and it is creamy. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's uh, really nice. Whipped up pretty good. It usually does anyway. <laughs> pre-shave uh, also went along with the uh, pre-shave from Sterling. In other words, keeping in theme, going with the... Uh, licorice scent and here's the little brother here black uh <laughs> black eyes this is the witch hazel i'm going to be using today blade of choice today is a uh, treat platinum this one it comes uh, wrapped in double wrapped and go ahead and toss that to the side and there it comes in a tin pack there you go this particular shaver is a uh, above the tie eclipso it's blue and uh, you'll, I've got a link down below. Uh, in other words, this is a coloration that's being discontinued or is discontinued. So you'll have, uh, I guess you might say, fun finding bits and pieces of it. But anyhow, this is what it looks like. It's an open comb. And you might be able to see the base plate right there. It's been marked as, a, it's got a M on the base plate for the open comb. Then I also have this one here that has, um, right there is where the R is at on this particular open comb. And I pick these pieces up, you know, when uh, there's a lot more of them on the, uh, on the ugly side as well as on the return side. And this is the standard base plate that, I, that came with the razor when I first got it. But anyhow, scratch and dent, all that sort of thing. Thought this was a uh, really... Uh, just a nice buy. <clears throat> One of the things that you, uh, for me, what popped in my mind is that I enjoy using the razor. And I would be pretty sad if I took it with me somewhere, like you leave it in a hotel and it never comes back home. And uh, you get your pristine above the tie razor that you no longer have. <laughs> so taking a scratch and dent, one that's maybe less than perfect, with you on a trip and if something bad should happen uh, and it is no longer with you, you're not out of uh, the same amount of money if you've taken your pristine above the tie razor. But anyhow, that was the thought behind it. And um, besides the fact you can get all the, uh, I was picking up you know these base plates and whatnot for you know, quite a bit cheaper than paying the quote unquote full price. So anyway, it was just a thought process that I was going through when I, when I noticed that he was had some bargains. And there's still some there. You just have to go sort it out and see if it's anything you're interested in because there's more than one level of, of the bargains. In other words, the, the ugly side of things uh, uh, might be a little bit more. <laughs> the coloration may be like way off or there might be on the handle the... Uh, uh, knurling may be way off, but it still functions just fine on the handle and the razor still shaves just like the pristine one. It just doesn't look as pretty. <laughs> That's all. So it just depends on where you're at on your, on a, what your wants and needs are. But, you know, in other words, the coloration, the, the blue base, base plate and the cap, they're totally different colors. Uh, it, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm more interested in what, how does it shave? Because I already got the pristine one, so I'm good to go on that.
the uh, Omega brush, I've got a link down below. And I'm sure there's, uh, quite sure there's other places that carry a large number of Omega brushes. And if you're looking for one that's inexpensive and a bore knot, you can pick up a small bore knot Omega brush for right around the $5 mark. And, and if you're not sure if you like it, at least you're only out about five bucks if you decide you don't like it. If you do like it, there's a few more that you can get around the five dollar mark. <laughs> they come at various different prices. These uh, synthetic knots also are different. As you can also probably tell by looking at the prices of the brushes. But that particular handle, there's some colorations to it. In other words, they're not all looking, you know, they'll look similar to wood, but different colors. Like, you know, a multi-layer wood, you know, looks really nice. It's very tempting to get one like that. Because it is a good looking brush. And there's different uh, synthetic knots that are available that are offered with their brushes. But I've got a link to Pastor's uh, Pharmacy's uh, website there. There's more there's two pages of uh well the way i've got it set up there's two pages uh, that you can look through on uh, mega brushes <laughs> they have a good selection of them in other words and speaking of brushes and and that knot sizes and the density of the of the uh, uh various different knots and whatnot there's a something I haven't mentioned in a while because it is not everybody of course you know does videos and not everybody has a whole plethora of uh, brushes so how many brush brushes do you think you might need and uh, there a while back I remember reading uh, if I remember right it was Gillette that mentioned about not rinsing out your brush and now this was a good number of years ago so more or less long before the synthetic knots came out. It is something that, you know, it, I could halfway understand what they're, what, because you, if you've got a brush and you're using it as your daily driver, because you only have one brush, you, you can probably understand maybe not rinsing it out. Maybe. But I'm also thinking a natural bristle brush knot not being rinsed out on a regular basis kind of makes you wonder what may or may not be growing in there <laughs> in other words having more than one brush is you know for me is a it would be a good thing because you would want it to dry out and in other words not have stuff you know growing there's something to think about <laughs> The synthetic knots don't take very long to to dry. You rinse it out real good. Brush tips out on a on a soft cloth. It doesn't take very long for them to dry. Natural bristle, on the other hand, can take a good moment, especially if it's densely populated. It's just something to think about. Because I know for some folks, it probably hasn't even crossed their mind. I just, I, it, I have yet to see it. I've got a spot right through here that is, for some reason, is really tender. I mean, it, when I go across it, I noticed it yesterday. When I go across it with the razor, it just feel like I just cut myself. Even though I'm not bleeding or anything, but there is something right there that's really tender. Not sure what's going on right there, but I tell you what, it, it <laughs> you notice it when you go across at a particular angle, it gets your attention. <laughs> I say, I don't know what it is right there. I can't be able to see what it is. Yeah, right through there. This particular plate is pretty decent. I mean, in that smooth, it is open comb. It uh, allows a little bit of a flow through of the lather and whatnot, and uh, it's not, how you say, overly aggressive by any means. Uh, the other base plate, though, I feel like it's probably more aggressive than this one here. 
Plus, you know, it just depends on what kind of blade you're using. Where you're at on your travels. Technique, pressure. This being an aluminum razor. Can't be too terribly careless with your pressure. In other words, putting too much pressure against the grain. This blade is working pretty good. This, I should mention this is the second use on this blade. Yeah, you can kind of tell it does leave some behind. I like that. And for me, I, I, that way, if you're looking to go back over a spot and uh, not there's ever been an issue with residual uh, slickness with this particular soap, sterling, always plenty of slickness. Uh, but in other words, you know, you, you've got plenty there to work with. If you want to go back over the spot, there's plenty of soap left over. If you're a little concerned whether you got enough to go back over that same spot or if you need to relather. I enjoy using this razor. For me, it's interesting. Um, in other words, that white, lightweight shaver just seems to, you know, shave really well. It's not quite as scary as some of the others I've used in the past that's lightweight. <laughs> Wondering if I'm going to be okay using it. Because my, uh, the razors that I use that are, uh, I guess you might say, that you can use it like an automatic pilot, don't have to focus near as much. For me, the heavier ones are the ones that work well for me. Don't have to really give them a whole lot of thought. You got the blade in there, just let the weight of the razor, sharpness of the blade, let all that do the work, just guide it across your face. For me, for a light one, you have to be careful with the pressure. Because it's a, you get that tendency when to put too much on there. And then you end up with a cut or a nick or or maybe even a rough shave. <laughs> Take off a little bit of extra skin there, I guess you might say, on the exfoliating. <laughs> Glacial. For me, this uh, is not over the top. My eyes don't feel like they're wanting to water. I don't feel the need to squint or anything quite like that, but it is definitely present. Uh, nice cooling effect, and to me, with the uh, black licorice and the menthol, that's a good mix. It, it just, for me, my senses in the morning, it definitely wakes them up. Uh, it's, yeah, it gets them good ready for the shave. makes it great for a Monday, especially when you're not too terribly eager to get started in your work day. <laughs> it's like, you know, I could use another day off <laughs> type thing. Right down there, got a little bit of steam, but that was not the spot. And it doesn't even steam up there where, where I ran across it with the razor. I don't know what's going on right there. It's hard to see. I do know it feels a little funny though. It might show up in the next shave. Next shave is going to be a uh, shave at shave. So, uh, yeah, it, it might show up then. All right. This one here, of course, is methylated black ice. I said this one here is the little brother. In other words, it's not quite as potent as obsidian, but uh, it is still definitely present. I think it's kind of fun to use that. If you can get a setup where one of your favorite scents and where everything you're using is scented aftershave so witch hazel all of it it's just like the, the whole bathroom will be that way and also what I do is I leave the shaving cream in the bowl for the day and I won't clean the bowl out until later on in the day so the whole bathroom just smells with the, the black licorice it just yeah awesome <laughs> it's fun to watch the family <laughs> come out of the bathroom. <laughs> Anyhow, here we go with the aftershave. Yeah, there are some days I have a lot of fun with them, with uh, what scent is uh, I use of the day and their response to them. 
not everybody appreciates some of the scents that I use, but I have fun with them. I enjoy them. This one here is one of them. Believe it or not, my wife likes it. But the kids, on the other hand, you can tell when they come out, you know, they have that funny look on their face that there's something offensive in the bathroom. It's not because somebody just was just in there. <laughs> it's just fun to watch the look on their face. I had a great time this morning. Great shave this morning on a Monday morning. Hope everybody's doing well after the holiday weekend. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shaves to you.